I've hit Unreal every season, in builds and in zero builds, since Rank came out. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is. You don't even need any eliminations. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Next game, can you explain your strategy in detail? Okay. Okay. The first thing that I always do, if you've been watching, I stay on the battle bus pretty much right until the very end. This time, because we're going so far away from the mountains, the mountains can be tricky to get over if that's where I decide I need to go. So I'm gonna get off the bus when there's about three seconds left this time. That way I can get back closer to those mountains. And I pop my glider immediately because I want to stay in the air as long as I can. Because we have to wait a while for the first ring to form, so. I'm just flying back towards the middle. Watch out for the tornado of fire. So in another five seconds, we'll see the first ring. So we're gonna start flying back this way. What I look for is I look for the smallest distance between the ring and the storm. Looks like it's up here by Rebel's Roost, right? So we're gonna mark that on the map. And we're gonna fly in that direction. And I'm not gonna go over... I try to stay over the water as much as I can because if somebody's on on land, I don't want them getting a visual notification of me flying by. I try and avoid everything <laughs> as much as I can. So that's pretty good for now. Yeah, that's a good spot. So now we wait. Hopefully we're not going to have to do much for the first couple of zones because the ring tends to stick to the spot where I've landed. So what I mean is the, the ring tends to stick to the spot where it was the smallest distance between the ring and the storm. So hopefully that's what will happen this game. So if I'm right, and it works as I'm hoping it works. We should still be in the ring. Next zone. So let's see. Okay. So it actually stuck a little farther up here. It's not... It's not a difficult rotate. <laughs> so, ready? Let's rotate into the next ring. Okay, there we go. So we could swim up this way a little bit if we wanted to, but I think I'm fine right here. Do, 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 yeah, there's a lot of waiting around when you camp as hard as I camp. <laughs> See, usually I would be doing email or reading chat. Since you guys asked, I'm trying to do the best possible job I can of explaining my strategy. The biggest part of my strategy, um, well, not the biggest part, but the part that has really helped recently is the fact that I discovered you get a bonus in ranked on your percentage if you don't take any damage during the game, either from the storm or another player. So I just call it the no damage bonus. In diamond and lower, you get about a 10% bonus on your rank. So let's say you were gonna go up 5%, you would actually go up 15%. In 
Elite, it's about a 5% bonus, and in Champs, it's about 2%. Let's see what the ring does. Does it stick? Wow. Almost like I knew what I was talking about when I pinned it up there. Okay, let's make the let's make the next rotation. Alright, there we go. So now that I'm inside the top 20, as long as I don't take any damage, I'm pretty much guaranteed to rank up a little bit. The the longer you last, the less players there are, the more you rank up. But Push from this, dad, brother. Hope you've been doing well. From this point onward, if I get nervous that I'm going to take damage, I just quit the game. And I've actually practiced that. <laughs> I've practiced that sequence. So that if I'm in a panic situation, I need to quit quickly. Button left, up, up, button, button, left. There's 15 players left. We'll see if we get another sticky ring here. In 45 seconds, we'll see if we get another one. Yeah, I have played in FNCS with this strategy. I had a duo with a guy who goes by Fortnite Tourney. Fortnite underscore tourney. He also camps. Him and I came pretty close to getting to the next stage. Okay, it's a little bit of a farther rotate. Alright, this is a nice spot. We still got a lot of open water in front of us. We are now top 10. So once we have to get on land, I like to build myself a little one by one box with a cone. And I like to do all my builds out of brick. I like to do my builds out of brick because steel takes too long. Even though it's stronger, it takes too long to become opaque. And wood, you can shoot through wood too quickly. So I like to have two layers of brick built between me and the outside world. All right, so now we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to think about how we wanna do this. There's a couple of medallions I can see down here. So I'm thinking maybe we go this way, get some builds and then camp around here. So we'll start by going, going this way. I know that I can swim faster by pressing X. Everybody tells me that all the time. I just find it a lot more noticeable when the little green alien is jumping in the water. I don't want to take the zip line either, because that makes a lot of noise. Well, there's only six players left now, and we're finally coming on the land. Get some materials. We're already in the next ring. I don't want to get too close to that cache. Can I run up here? No. No, oh, where's the next ring? Ooh, that is a nasty rotate. Okay, we didn't get a good ring here. So this is the, this is my little one by one with a cone that I like to make for myself. That way I've got the outside wall and the inside cone. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get to the next ring, even though I would probably just quit normally. But since I'm, since I'm walking you guys through my strategy, we'll, we'll try and get one more, one more zone out of this. There's still six players left. Oh, jeez. I almost 
almost got hit by the train. Alright, there's somebody ahead of us. Okay, we're getting out of the game. I saw footsteps, and I'm gone. So there, we got a top six finish. We didn't take any damage, and that is my strategy in a nutshell.